how to quickly filter 375 gallons of waste vegetable oil without getting a drop on the floor. Hey YouTube, this is Doug Green Cabby, and today we're going to show you how to quickly and efficiently filter up to 375 gallons of waste vegetable oil without getting a drop of oil on the floor. Previously we had tons and tons of messes all over the floor with spilt oil, spilt glycerin, all that kind of stuff while we were making biodiesel. And uh, now we have a system that is quick, efficient, and you never have to touch the oil once it's filtered. Uh, before we actually had these big old sock filters basically are super yucky. They get tons and tons of goop inside, and then once they get gooped up, they're really, really hard to clean. We used to have them inside this tote, and as you see, it spilled all over the place. It overflowed, and you had to have a heater, and that's one thing that uh, can break easily. The more moving parts you have, the more likely it is to break. So uh, we went ahead and eliminated those sock filters and eliminated this huge mess. But what we do now is we take our waste vegetable oil that we get from the restaurants, uh, four and a half gallons. We take a 55 gallon drum. All right, there's our filtered oil. And what we do is we get these big giant barrel filters. We have three 55 gallon drum barrel filters. And what those are is a 600 micron, a 400 micron, and a 200 micron filter. Uh, we also had a 100 micron filter on this, but when you would try to pour it through, it would clog up really fast and uh, would not allow the oil to go through. So we got a 600, a 400, and a 200. And then what you do is you just pour the oil around so that it evenly distributes and goes through fast. And the reason these are better than the sock filters is because it has a wider surface area so that it's able to drip down a lot faster. And then after you fill up your 55 gallons of your oil, then you can quickly and easily spray this off with a hose so that it doesn't get gunked up and you can use it over and over and over again with no issues. And then what we do is we have a pump that sucks it out through a manifold and it goes through the pump and up to a hundred micron filter. And the great thing is, is we're able to clean that out every single time that we do 55 gallons and it quickly and efficiently takes it down to a hundred microns and then you can either take it directly to the biodiesel producer or you can take it right to the 375 gallon tote of oil. Now the great thing is, is once the oil is in here, we can hit the same pump, just flip the switch and it actually sucks it out of the barrel and then it goes around the filter and it goes directly into the biodiesel producer. So once it's filtered, we never have to touch it. Quick and easy. Subscribe now to get all our new green content first. Also, check out how to make biodiesel large scale, how to do biodiesel glycerin methanol distillation, or check out our green living playlist for all of the green living stuff that we enjoy.